Alright folks, this is day two. We did another water test. We caulked some more on the bottom and around the edges a little bit more. Holding up pretty good so far. Uh, got the rocks in there. Uh, we made this cave. All this is natural rocks, by the way. Straight out of nature, except that, that of course. That's still pretty cool though. Little lake house type thing. But yeah, water's holding and it's looking good. So we're about to start filling it up, folks. And then we'll add the treatment to the water. And then uh, on the bottle of treatment, it didn't say anything about having to wait. So over the course of time of us filling the tank and then going fishing today to get a tester fish, which will probably just be a bluegill or honestly whatever bites the hook first. Uh, we'll be putting a fish in to see how it goes, but it don't it don't say anything about that on the the tap water conditioner. So we're over the course of us filling up the tank and going fishing. We'll, this should be enough time to have the filter running continuously and letting the water cycle. And, but we're about to go ahead and get this thing filled up, folks. It's, I like the way it's looking. Stay tuned. Pretty much just alternating buckets of hot and cold water. And then once we get to about like right here, so we'll judge it off of uh, just the temperature of feel. Put my hand in the tank and see how it feels. We kind of want it to feel like we're going into like creek water. Cause that's where we're going to be catching our fish or, uh, to put in the tank like creeks or like pond water so about or aiming for about like i'd say like 60 ish degrees would be a natural comfort zone probably but now yeah, we're gonna get this next bucket and get her in all right folks we got the tap water conditioner i'm about to pour in there uh, one milliliter for every 15 gallons. That's a, about a 75 gallon tank, so we're going five milliliters. And we're about to pour it in at this level, so when we add more water, it's kind of circulating as we're dumping more water in. But now we just gotta get the water up to the filter and then turn the filter on. Uh, we'll see you there at that part. All right, folks, we got the tank completely all the way up to the fill line on the filter. We got the filter running. That is awesome. A little waterfall action right there. Heck yeah. Let's put the top on there real quick. Let's the We're about to put the light bars on and get a good look at the tank completely. Finished on day two. Oh, oh my. Oh, it's nice. Wow, folks. All natural creek rock. The only thing that ain't natural to that thing is the backdrop and the little lake house thing. Other than that, those rocks are natural creek rock, and those are natural creek rock as well. The cave. Very nice. Really looks sick. We're about to. Uh, let this filter while we're gone. The filter's on full blast. That stuff's circulating and it was circulating the whole time we was dumping the five gallon buckets here into the tank. And uh, so that tap water conditioner circulating just fine. That filter's really going. Look at the bubbles. That's really nice. Yeah, we're gonna let this go. We're about to go fishing and hopefully get a fish for our new aquarium. Stay tuned, folks. All right, folks, we're at the creek. I'm fly fishing. Whatever we catch today is going in the aquarium, folks. That's today's goal. I'm fly fishing the whole time. It's the only hole I brought with me. Uh, Steve was down there throwing a crappie jig. But yeah, whatever bites out of this creek is, uh, this is also the creek where we got the rocks. So uh, we'll be trying to get some fish from here as well, so. Uh, really, really excited to see this project unfold. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we can get a fish in the tank today. All right, fly 
fishing right here for a minute. We're getting hit by a bit. One of these tiny ones would be crazy in the tank. We gotta get a decent sized one. Yeah, we got a spot right here and then uh Caleb's got a spot down the creek we're gonna try, but we're we're chilling right here for now. Oh, I just got bit. I need to be able to see you. There's some bluegill right here by the tree. Alright, but... right, folks, this spot was a bust. Uh, Caleb said he has another spot down the creek that we're gonna go try out, so we'll see you there. Alright, folks, this is spot number two. We got a pool down there at the end of the falls. We got this right here up on the wall. And then it's a little pool over here, too. So this is probably where we'll be spending the rest of our time trying to get a fish for the aquarium. Stay tuned, we'll see if we can make it happen. Well, folks, the creek didn't pan out for us like we expected. We was hoping to catch at least a small mouth or like uh, some sort of pan fish out of the creek. But we're about to regroup and uh, try to come up with a different spot to go to before we lose sunlight today. So stay, stay tuned and we'll get something figured out for us. All right, folks, we made it to the next spot. This is the spot we chose. We've never been here on the channel. It's called Dogwood Pond. We're over here in Carlisle, Ohio, and uh, we're going for bass and panfish and uh, catfish of, of the small variety, of course, to go put back in the aquarium, but we can catch some biggins too. Biggins are always fun, but we're aiming for aquarium fish still, so stay tuned and we'll see what we can get here. Steve-O just caught the freaking mondo bluegill that is definitely the first pet in the freaking tank bro definitely the first freaking pet in the tank bro that is a mondo look at that thing look how fat that thing is should we be concerned about the spot on his tail that's probably just from somebody trying to eat him or a spawn mark we'll have to keep an eye on him but yeah it's usually in white spots okay okay that's they call it the white spot disease because of that the fish it'll like like they'll have like white spots all over their fins and their body okay, so that's just like a scar or something. it's got to be something from him trying yeah. to get ate or something or spawn that's a big boy yeah he's that's going crazy. in the tank man heck yeah let's go put him in the aerator bucket i'll show you guys the aerator bucket system we got dude that is a kegger is that Cletus or Velveeta? Uh, <laughs> that's Velveeta. You said this one's Velveeta. <laughs> Heck yeah, folks. We got our bucket here. Got the aerator in the lid. Yep, yep, she's running. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. All in the way and stuff. Emmy's right here, so I just. Heck yeah, man. See how he likes that. Dude, that is a freaking huge one. He's like it. All right, that's a pet. Heck yeah, folks. Let's see if we can get maybe a small bass or maybe another bluegill, and that'll be it. And we'll probably just fish for the rest of the time. But heck Whoa. yeah, that's awesome. Huge bluegill. That's Velveeta. Daddy, you look. There's Cletus. Cletus going in the bucket with Velveeta over here. We got two matching bluegills for the tank. We're going to see how these guys do. And now we're wanting to get a bass. So pair them up with each other and see. How's the homie Cletus? Velveeta looks good. Cletus in there. 
Gosh, look at them freaking things, man. Heck yeah, we're gonna get these guys safely home to the aquarium, and those are our new friends. It's Cletus and Velveeta, they've already been named by Steve-O, so they're just gonna stick, I like it. <laughs> There's some giant bluegills, so we're gonna get some minnows and stuff to feed them, and we'll probably get some, like, wax worms for them to eat tonight. Until I can get some minnows in the tank, but this is what we're rolling with for now, folks. I'm glad you guys could be a part of this, check it out with us, and be a part of the project. This is amazing. I can't wait to see these guys in the tank. Stay tuned, folks. We'll see you back at the house. Catch number three. We're so not folks, keeping buddy. this guy, but we're gonna put him in the water. Let's go over here, buddy. All right. Good throw, good throw. You didn't get him on the land, that was good. He landed right on the grass. I don't think he got hurt. He swam right off. That was good. You hold the big fish, buddy? Oh, I was going to pull the money off, too. So you... That was nice, yep. There's some big bluegills here. I don't think we're going to keep anything else tonight. We're going to keep the two we already got. and uh, We want to try to get like a bass or a catfish to put in the tank as well. Uh, but yeah, two big old bluegills. Match and pair. Can't wait to get them in the tank when we get home. We'll see you guys there. Alright folks, we've made it back home to the aquarium. We got our pet. Can't really see him in the bucket, but go ahead. Let's get him in there, boat. See how they react. Put one at a time? Uh, don't really matter. Oh my gosh, those things are cute. They're gonna freak out. Yeah, they're about to trip. Is both of them in there? Yeah, yeah. they're. Look at them big freaking things in there, dude. Oh my gosh. Cletus and Velveeta will never be able to tell them apart. It's just Cletus and Velveeta. Those things are huge. Look how awesome these things look, folks. You're the first two pets in here. Oh, one's taken to the cave already. Awesome. Yeah, we built this cave by hand. Just set it up perfectly and one's already taken to it. That's really cool. I love that. Look at that guy taken to the cave right there, Bob. Is he already taken to it? Chilling, bro. He's just chilling. Mm. Yeah, it's Clyde and Velveeta. Is it, was it Clyde or Cletus? Cletus. Cletus. Sorry, folks. It's Cletus. Cletus and Velveeta. Yeah, we're putting the top on and we're about to see what it looks like with the lights. Alright, it's so exciting, folks. A little two day project completely finished now. And we got two pet bluegills so far. They look like straight bluegills, too. Like, yeah, just 100% bluegill, no like hybrid or anything. They're a matching pair, and these things are just so sick, man. Look at that. They're huge. We're going to do a live feeding tomorrow, folks, and we'll get some uh, minnows and uh, wax worms. We're going to feed them. But they're in the tank. They're just chilling. The tank seems to be filtering perfectly. And, yeah, these are, this was a... We'll probably leave it just these two for now. We'll see how these guys take to the tank and we'll try to get them to eat and stuff. But yeah, as of right now, they're just chilling. And it's good to see them just hanging out and they're not freaking out or anything. They're just hanging out. It's, they look so nice in the tank. But. Yeah, this will probably be it for the day. The project's complete, and uh, we'll be moving on from here for sure. We get some minnows in there tomorrow, and do a live feed tomorrow. So yeah, that's it for today. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Really happy to see this project finished. Beautiful.